Hi, my name is Peter. I'm the owner of American Sports Outlet. I've been playing football for almost 20 years, have a lot of experience with equipment, and now I'm gonna help you find the right equipment. Hi, in this part, I'm gonna talk about helmets. I'm gonna help you determine the right head size, talk a bit about the safety, and help you find the right face mask. This is all the things you need to know to buy your next helmet. To determine the right helmet size, what you need is measuring tape and the person that can help you measuring your head. The way that you do it, is by placing the measuring tape on the bum and the back of the head, approximately one centimeter above the eyebrows and then across the head. This way you will ensure to get the right helmet size. What we also re always recommend is for our customers to go down into the club and try as many helmets on as possible from the teammate. In this way you can ensure that you have tried anything possible in the marketplace and at the same time you can find the right helmet in that way. By knowing your helmet size you will know which helmets to try on. When talking about helmet safety and fitting, it's important to remember to get the helmet as tight as possible to your head. You must never have any air in between the temple and the helmet or the jaw and the helmet. This to ensure you're not going to get concussions from hitting anybody. As you can see, would this be the wrong helmet? As there's air in between the temple and the helmet and in between the jaw and the jaw pad. Meaning that hitting somebody, that's going to create a movement to the helmet, which can result in a concussion. As you can see, would this be the right helmet? As there's no air, in between the temple and the helmet and no air in between the jaw and the jaw pad meaning that hitting somebody there's not going to be any movement in the helmet giving you less, less chance of getting a concussion we always recommend that you buy a helmet with an air fitting system to it meaning they can pump up the helmet with air to get it tighter to your head most helmet on the marketplace has this except from PV helmets which are meant for players under 10 years of age so when you're going out to buy your next helmet ensure that it has an air fitting system to it to ensure your safety when fitting your helmet you can either use the air fitting system or the jaw pads to change the shape of the inside of the helmet the air fitting system normally consists of two airliners one of them being the crown liner which is for the top of the head and the other one being for the side and the back of the helmet Use the two air valves on the top of the helmet to pump it up. When trying on the helmet for the first time, ensure to check that the jaw pads are really tight to the, to the jaw. If not, you can always buy new jaw pads. But be aware that the, the jaw pads have different shape and different thickness. When determining which face mask to buy, it's important to look at what position you're playing. As an example, when you're playing quarterback receiver, what you want to have is you want to have a short face mask with a lot of you. I would recommend a face mask like this. When playing running back, outside linebacker or defensive back, you still want to have a lot of movement to your face mask or a lot of movement to your head. But at the same time, you want a little bit more protection in your face mask. As if you're hitting a lot of people, I would recommend a face mask like this. When playing middle linebacker or fullback, you still want a short face mask, but here you really want to protect your face. Therefore, I would recommend a face mask like this. When playing all line and D line, you would need to buy a longer face mask. This to protect the jaw. I would therefore recommend a face mask like this. These are just basic guidelines and what I would recommend. Eventually it's up to each player to decide on which face mask would suit him the best.